so i tried this custom room after a long time and i am talking about dub fest os it is also updated to android 16 but in this case we are not going to use android 16 this is android 15 which are the things included and so on let's quickly jump into it first of all the about phone ui has been changed the last time when i used the ui was different one so we have a new about phone ui also the default launcher as expected it is not the pixel launcher but this dub fest launcher has been improved a lot of things are included already some features are so good you can enable or disable at a glance widget you can even customize the app drawer and it brings you many new options already in this case you can also turn off the google search bar on the home screen in case you want to and some other options if you simply open the recent panel you will notice a lot of actions like split screen the option for google lens clear all screenshot all these options which you can even disable and yes, of course, if you're looking forward to circle to search, it is definitely available and working fine. But make sure to update the Google apps or basically all the pre-installed apps if it is not working for you. If it is working fine by default, it's completely good. The quick settings panel have blur automatically enabled in the background, but that can be adjusted. You can do that with the help of background transparency option available in the quick settings customizations. I'll talk about that later on. For now, if we move on to settings UI, you will notice we have a card style UI. Some things are well placed, some things might be, I mean, it depends upon you if you love those things or not. We have a lot of tweaks available here and there. This is not the most customizable custom room, but still brings you many useful options. For example, if you move on to Dubfest customizations, we have custom monet theming options related to status bar options related to quick settings panel as i just told you also notification related tweaks are there some options like buttons options related to lock screen and a few of the miscellaneous options present here in this case so you can go and explore them in case you want to if you move on to wallpapers and style ui even in some Android 16 based custom rooms, the wallpaper and style UI is still the same because the new wallpapers and style UI was actually available with Android 16's QPR update, which is not available right now while making this video that will be available in the stable form, most likely next month or maybe next to next one, not so sure. But if you see some wallpapers, all of these wallpapers were available from a long time in Dubfest OS and all those things are available in this case. If you move on to security and privacy options, we have this panic option available, which is available as an option if you want to enable it in the power menu section or not. So you can turn it on, but everything else seems to be the similar one. Some things which you can enable or disable and so on. If we move on to miscellaneous options, you will notice unlimited photo storage, in all window secure flags and also with the quite basic features right now is Keybox XML. So if you have a working Keybox, you can easily pass strong integrity and so on. But we have some of the things missing, like we do not have a no storage restrict feature and some other options like app downgrade, but that's completely fine. Lock screen are basically these notification sections. Ambient edge lighting is one of the things which is available. Lock screen have everything else quite sorted. No extra extra customizations or extra features included. If you move on to button section, nothing new, nothing unique. Only the control playback option is available and some things available in power menu which you can enable or disable. Everything else is just quite simple in this case. Notification section also have the simple and Quite basic feature like status bar action chip quite common available in many custom rooms right now you also have this island notification option present which is good which is quite good for some of the users like you for some of you it might not be as good as it looked like and quick settings panel as i just told you at the starting of the video also regarding the background blur which you can easily adjust the option is, is available here for you you can adjust the transparency basically opacity so it's totally up to you quick setting header images are there we have data usage some other options include status bar customizations status bar have some tweaks available for you like clock, clock customizations are there network traffic indicator you can enable battery indicators status bar icons custom logo and so on many options are available here for you everything else is just simple and quite common so this is what we have if you want to check it out you can link is in the description this is it thanks for watching hope you like this video we'll see you in the next one